It's a weed and feed. It has a fer fertilizer and also the weed killer in the grass. You want to put that down right now and get the grass growing. Mm -hmm. Also, if you want to make sure that you well water before you put the fertilizer on, it's going to be a lot much more, effect much more effective. Okay. You know, when you're trying to figure out what kind of fertilizer is. I mean, you go to the store and everything, you look at 20 different brands. You want to go with a fertilizer that has a slow release. Slow release. Slow release. Also, with uh, zoysia, there's so many zoysia lawns on there, mm -hmm. you want to make sure that your fertilizer for zoysia, the nitrogen, the end number is the lowest. You want to have around 16, 18, and this is a great product. It mm -hmm. has, uh, made by Fertilome, it has sulfur, it has iron, and you know, zoysia is very uh, sensitive to low iron, low uh, micronutrients, so okay. get a Fertilome, it works really well with you. Also, if you have a problem getting your grass greened up, mm -hmm. you can look at the pH, make sure your pH that's, you know, the acidity, uh, acidity of the soil mm -hmm. and the basicness of it. Uh, you can check that. And if it's if it's uh, too uh, low, you want to make sure you put uh, some uh, lime on it. Oh, and that okay. will bring it, bring it up to the normal range. Mm -hmm. And what it does is helps the grass absorb the nitrogen. Okay. See, it does, gets locked out. Even though you put nitrogen on it, it, it won't have any response. Okay. The next thing you need to remember to do is to take care of those bugs preemptively. Mm -hmm. Okay. The best chinch bug killer, because we have so much St. August, mm -hmm. is this arena. Okay. Th this is the number one uh, most effective chinch bug killer known to mankind. Right here. Arena. It's okay. legal. It's a chinch bug. But bifenthrin is good on a lot of other bugs, but you know, m many of the bugs, uh, chinch bugs in our area, are completely immune to it. Because, you know, they took Durzban off the market years ago and they continue, continue using this and they have resistance. So you're talking about you know, people call in all the time and say, why do I put this on there? And no response. They could be 90% uh, uh, not affected by that. So you get 10 chinch bugs, you know, only one gets killed by it. Okay. So, okay. So then the next thing you need to do right now is put some fungicide on. Again, preemptively mm -hmm. is the best thing. Put some fungicide down. Here's some fungicide right here. It's the, gone, uh, made by Scott's. Mm -hmm. And this one is going to be propiconazole. Okay. And propiconazole is how you're going to be able to tell is right on the lower section right here, mm -hmm. propiconazole. This is a general fungicide, but most effective against root disease. So if you have root disease, you want to use this one, or you had problems with it. This one is a thiophanate, and you look down on the bottom again, it's going to have what it is, the active ingredient. They all have a specific active ingredient, mm -hmm. and this is good for leaf diseases, and, you know, brown patch and those type of things. Okay. So you got to make sure you get insect NPK on there, and your grass is going to look absolutely spectacular. Do it preemptively now. Preemptively. Right. Thank you so much. You're going to need the big cart when you go to Ace Hardware. And, of course, if yes. you have any questions, because we know it's a lot of bags, you can, um, or if you'd like Larry to do your landscape, you can log on to Larry's Garden.